Well, here we go. Overnight tonight, down around 49 degrees, and basically, that's okay. I mean, you know, this last overnight, we were in the mid-40s. That's what we woke up to this morning, and you may very well in the far western parts of the valley tomorrow morning. And then in the lower valley, more like 50 degrees, 52 degrees. So, you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. What to do? Well, uh, early on, uh, a hoodie, a light jacket, something like that. And then on through the day, you'll be down to shirt sleeves by the afternoon if we get to where we want to be, and that is temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Why not the low 80s like we had today? Well, just an extra push of cool air from the north northwest will help to keep temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Now, the sun will be out, so the sun's going to be fighting the winds. The winds want it cool, the sun wants it hot. Those two will duke it out for control of our forecast for tomorrow. High pressure is going to set the stage for this fight between sun and wind, and that's, well, basically keeping things clear letting the sun shine in. Do we need rain? <laughs> do we need rain? Uh, most times, all, almost all the time, yes, of course we do. Now, we've only had a smidge at Brownsville and Harlingen and a little bit more than half an inch at McAllen. We should be talking about nearly two inches at McAllen, nearly three inches at Harlingen, and more than three and a half at Brownsville. But we've come up short on all locations for that for that graph for the whole month. So I hope you've had a little bit more rain, but as it stands, most folks have not. You see the U.S. drought monitor shows dry conditions on down into the lower valley and mid valley and out in the western part of the valley. So portions of Starr County, Willacy County, even slivers of Hidalgo and all of Cameron for that matter in the dry zone. The drought conditions are all north of Laredo. Saturday and Sunday, if you've got plans to do something outdoors, this is it. This is going to be the best weekend ever, almost ever. 78 to 80 degrees, fantastic, looks good. Um, we'll have east winds, east to southeast breezes from Saturday to Sunday, and overall the humidity will be tolerable. So we really can't ask for more than that. Then after the weekend, another frontal boundary comes on down. Now if you're thinking it's going to bring rain, it's not. It's just going to pass through dry, and then drier air is going to come on in behind it. So that's something we're just going to have to watch out for. If we get too many more of these bursts of dry air and significant breezes that continue to bring in the dry stuff, well, we might have to start worrying about fire weather hazard before too long. So we'll keep that in mind. Now, the tropical snapshot has this area of development. Here you have uh, Haiti, and you've got uh, Puerto Rico, and then you've got this development entering the Caribbean. That's going to continue to move west over the next five days and probably threaten Honduras, Nicaragua. A 70% chance this will become Ada. That's the next letter in the Greek alphabet, like I ate a sandwich for dinner. Ada, E-T-A, and that's, that's the Greek alphabet for you. I should have taken that class in high school. They offered a, uh, a Greek class. I didn't take it. I guess I missed out. All right, now, the seven-day forecast shows that we have a good bonus this weekend, and that is turning the clocks back an hour Saturday night. So you get an extra hour of snooze time there, and you're less cranky on Sunday. And then Monday, uh, another that next boundary comes through dry and cools us down a tad to set us up for a glorious election day.